Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new series I want to start doing called Inside the Mind of Slippy. I've gotten this idea from Arab. He does these videos for Fortnite scrims. So I thought it'd be interesting to do it for some Warzone games. So let's get right into it. So right off the bat, I jump and I land at the military base. I jump and go to the military base and you'll notice that I go straight for a truck. I go for the truck because one, it's so fucking powerful early game. So it can literally just mow anyone over. And early game, barely anyone will ever have a rocket launcher. Like the chances are so low, so you can just drive around running people over. Even with the new patch, the truck is so deadly still early games where you can still pick up a few, a few kills and get loot and get money by just killing people. Where is they? Say they want me. I'm gonna play that back in slow mo. The way I killed this guy was I was standing behind this block of cement and I was jump shotting him and moving to my right as fast as I can so he doesn't have the reaction time to shoot me. Because I was jumping, you can only see a little bit of my head, and because I was so close to this wall, he couldn't see any of my left side. So as soon as I jump up and take my shot, I'd run to the right. You're sacrificing a little bit of your accuracy, but the more times you kind of play like this and just stay close to walls, you do fast peaks, your aim will get better, and the chance of you losing to these gunfights to people are very low. If you paid attention, he hit me for a quarter of just one shield. So in the time he hit me for one quarter of a shield, I managed to break his shield and kill him with two sniper shots. He only got one AR shot off on me. When you're looting or even just running in the open, always look at your map and look at your surroundings because you never know when a vehicle will come near you. For example, I was looting and I didn't notice a truck coming to my left side. Because the audio isn't great in this game, I didn't hear the truck coming to my left and I noticed him on the minimap driving straight at me. Let's say I didn't have my truck to jump into. If you don't have any truck near you for, let's say in this example, I wouldn't run close to the wall because if I ran close to the wall, he'd be easily able to kill me. If I ran to the right side, I'd have more of a chance of surviving because I have more trees and stuff to hide behind other than running to this wall and just being completely trapped. As you noticed, I died. I'm in the gulag. I tried going for a cool ass clip for Instagram, but ended up getting shit on. When in the gulag, there's different play styles you have to play with different guns. For example, I got the 725. I had to play really slow and defensive because with this 725, it is so strong that it can literally one tap you from so far away. I'd say my gulag win rate is around a 70% because I usually wait at the beginning of the gulag for around five seconds so I can get my stun grenade and my actual grenade to use against my, oppon uh, my opponents. Yes, they will get it too, but if you know how to use these things properly, you'll be able to kill him. So I make sure I stay far away, and when I see him, I throw my stun first, and then push up with the grenade second. I then get behind a wall and wait for him, because I know where he is. But the bad thing about that is he stunned me, so I was fucked. But because I got myself into a good position at first, he didn't know where I was. You know what? I got those two shots, I complained about it, then I repositioned myself, saw him again, and shot him across the map and got him. After winning the gulag, I make sure to land on a car because I can't loot up right now because I'm not sure where people are and what houses aren't already looted. So make sure to get into a jeep and hopefully hit someone with it. I then get into the jeep, drive around and I look for a truck because trucks are bigger and better than a jeep. So then once I get in the truck, I drive around and I look for kills. I end up seeing someone that's in the open and I go for the kill. He ended up having really good loot. And as I kill him, I notice that there's a supply drop near me. So I go for the supply drop, get my weapons, and I'm already looted like I was last game, if not better. After killing the guy in downtown, I drive okay, around boys, for a you know what we got to do, right? Kills. I notice a Jeep that really didn't want to fight. So Every time we drive a, a Jeep shot, and I miss in the the downtown, bro, we got to do this shot. I also see it's another just a ritual, boys. TV on my map on my left side, but I also hear a guy on my right. So I hop back in my car and I run him over to the 
know he's in the open and he literally has no cover. I run him over because uh, he's still shooting at me, so I know he's not going to pull out a C4 in time. And as I'm driving towards him, he tries to pull out a C4, but he's way too late. So I hit him with the truck and I loot him up and go on my way to look for more kills. That guy just fucked my entire drift session up. Best drift right there, bro. I'm telling you. You know. Loadout, much appreciated, my guy. Much love, much love. How much y'all want to get better? I get snipe. I'll be driver. I make a really stupid mistake here again. I'm going for a lot of Instagram clips this game, but I also did a lot of good things this game. For example, when I when I shot this guy with a sniper a few times and I missed, I broke his shield, but I by accidentally got right into the truck. I didn't mean to click E, but I did. So as soon as I got into the truck and it gave me the opportunity to get out of it, I did and I ran behind my truck. Getting behind it is probably the best thing you can do when engaging in fights because you can also get into the truck bed and that's good because you can get cover in the back there. And I did that. I got into the back, I got cover, and I also lasered the hell out of him once I was in the back. After killing the guy in downtown, I drive around for a little bit more trying to look for more kills. I noticed a jeep that really didn't want to fight, so I tried going for a snipe shot and I missed. I hit the truck, but didn't get the kill. I also see another little ATV on my map on my left side, but I also hear a guy on my right. So I hop back in my car and I run him over because I know he's in the open and he literally has no cover. I run him over because uh, he's still shooting at me, so I know he's not going to pull out a C4 in time. And as I'm driving towards him, tries to pull out a C4, but he's way too late. So I hit him with the truck and I loot him up and go on my way to look for more kills. I go to the edge of zone near downtown because I know people are going to be coming in because it's such a heavy populated area and it's right in your zone. So I know 100% people are going to be coming out. And I do. I see one guy and he's in the canals. So I reverse to try hitting with the truck. Why I reverse is because it has a gridded back window and it's such a smaller window than the front. And it's such a hard target to hit. So I reverse up to him and I try backing up into him. But there's a little bit of a light post that I don't see and I end up hitting the light post and I can't reverse any further. So I hop back out, try, try to confuse where I am and then I hop back in my truck and then I hop right back out. So right now I'm just playing mind games with him. I'm trying to fuck with his head to, to, so he doesn't know where I am. So then I go into the back and I try lasering the shit out of him. He has some pretty good strafes but I end up getting the kill. As I finish killing the guy in the canals, I notice a second one right in front of me. So I just hop back in the truck and drive right at him. He doesn't hit a single shot and I kill him with the truck. I could have hopped out the truck and shot at him, but zone's already coming in. So might as well just hit him with the truck and keep driving. Endgame is probably the hardest part. Everybody's in buildings. You don't know where anyone is and everybody's camping. I notice one guy who's shooting at my truck and he tries to throw a Molotov at my truck. If you notice, I put my window right up against the wall. So the guy from upstairs can't really shoot at me or have a good angle at all to hit me. So practically to him, I'm invincible other than blowing up my truck. So I hop out when he throws the Molotov at me because I'm scared that'll do damage to me. So then I park my truck right underneath the window so I can get back, so I can get into the back bed of the truck and I can jump right into that window and kill him. He legitimately had no clue I can do this and was still looking out the window shooting at someone else. Right here, I'm driving around looking for more kills, and I noticed that there's a helicopter just chilling in the open. So, I want to get in this helicopter, but I also see it's 
badly, badly shot at. So I turn around and I go look at it again when I notice a guy's laying down on the ground with a ghillie suit. I hop out the car while sending it towards him so he thinks that I'm still in that car driving away. As you can see, he starts shooting at the car and he's completely oblivious to that I'm behind him. So as I hop out the car, I laser him, get behind him again, and then I hip fire him. I get the kill and I just get back in my car and look for more kills. Once again, I'm still driving around looking for kills. I haven't found anyone yet until I see someone coming out of Storm with an RPG in his hand. So I do the exact same thing as I did with a guy previously where I throw the car towards him and I laser the shit out of him while he blows up my car. After fighting the RPG dude, I run into the storm and get behind a supply drop for cover. Then I pop my UAV and realize someone's literally two feet in front of me and possibly looking at me. So I pull my sniper out, I hit him for shield, and then I hit him again right in the head and I down him. Since he's down, I run towards him as fast as I can so he doesn't get back up. I chuck my nade and then I shoot him with an M13 as soon as he gets up. I make sure to loot him really quickly though because the zone's so close and anyone can be looking at me with a sniper rifle. I then get behind a shed and make sure no one can see me from in front. I then pull my heartbeat sensor out, do a few scans, and look around with my M13 to make sure no one else is behind me. After noticing no one is behind me, I look in front and I try looking for some kills. I see one guy jump off of a cliff and get killed by someone else. I take one shot but miss. I see that I have 16 seconds left on the clock before zone closes, so I get into the car and drive into zone, which at the time was not a smart idea, so I get back in my car and I drive a little bit behind zone. Why it wasn't a smart idea was because if I got right into zone, I'd have two people focusing me because I know no one else is in zone. So I pull a little bit further back and I just watch people rotate into zone. This works out for me because I see one guy behind a rock and I shoot him in the head, down, instantly, done, out of the game. I then see another guy coming into zone. I try a few sniper sniping shots at him, but none of them can connect other than two. So then I do the exact same thing that I did with... I reverse into him because I know that I have this dune buggy and the most protection is from behind. So I reverse into him, hop out of the car, and while he's shooting at the car, I try to laser him the best I can, and I end up getting the kill, and that's game. I won, war zone, victory, let's go, GG's boys. Insane sniping. <laughs> okay, listen, I don't know if you're roasting me because I missed like five shots in a row and then hit, tw and then hit two, but I won.